In fact, of all the chapels I've looked at, this is the only one I've seen that has no Santa Muerte presence whatsoever. What's up guys, Dark Dally here, playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, and here we have another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Sites and Landmarks. Now, I honestly thought I was done with this series. I thought I'd seen everything there was in the world. After a year of playing the game, why not? But then a viewer, uh, specifically Mole Man, pointed me out to this little place here. And it doesn't look like much until you really look around it. And then once you look over here, I'm really surprised I never saw this place. There's an entire Unidad hospital and graveyard down here. And we're, we're kind of still at part of Jaguar. If you look at the base, it's even marked on the map. Unidad Military Hospital. But somehow I've driven through without taking much notice to it. So let's have a look at it. It's kind of a, let's, let's get the drone back up here. It's kind of like a mash unit is kind of what it reminds me of. That was my first thought. It, it looks fairly slapped together from sheet metal and tents. And we're going to go check out some of this stuff. And of course, over here at the, uh, here it is. There's a little chapel here and then there's a little graveyard and there's some cool inscriptions and there's some stuff I want to check out. So let's have a look at this. So right now we are down here. So let's go to, where, where would be the entry to the base? I guess the entry to the base would be this way. Now the base does have, it has one alarm, it has a radar jammer, and it might have a SAM launcher somewhere. But, uh, and it's got a few guys, it's not too bad. Actually, being part of Jaguar, I guess you could consider that somewhat formidable. I mean, the fact that it has a radar jammer and alarm, and it's got four or five guard posts, uh, those towers around it. So, probably because of its proximity to Jaguar, it's slightly defended. All right, so here we have the entrance from the road. And it looks like we got a couple of... What is he doing that down there? That's odd. Some random Santa Blanca just standing there in the road. All right. So here's the entrance. Let's come check this out. So we got a little uh, makeshift hospital here. Let's see what's in here. Pretty cool standard fare for what you'd expect to see. Although I can't say, I mean, as of yet in this series of videos, I've not checked out any hospitals. So I may see some things here I'm not used to regularly seeing. We have some patience. Oh, he's feeling better now. He's all, oh crap, mean guy with a gun. I'm better now, see? Okay. <laughs> okay. What else do we have in here? Let's go check out the other, on the other side of the entrance down here. We got some vehicles. Got a little, um, well, I, I guess you need some kind of little motor T, like a uh, shop of some kind to for vehicle maintenance to make sure the ambulances are up and in running order. And down here we have uh, some tents. I wonder if there's any... Um, <laughs> I've always been a big fan of the TV show MASH. I wonder if there's any Easter eggs here. Probably not. Okay, so down here we have another one of these buildings. Same thing. Cots. Some uh, what appears to be... Oh, uh, Lucadores posters on the wall. Let's see. All right, so let's go check out some of the more cool stuff around here. Now, there's one other thing that the viewer alerted me to. Well, kind of. He wasn't specifically pointing to this, but he mentioned it, and I checked it out briefly. Is over here on the other side of the road. He referred to it as an obstacle course, and it almost does kind of look like an off-road racetrack of some kind over here. I'm not sure what is all about this. So I might want to check this out next time you're here. Um, or if we have time, we can check this out today and see what exactly this is over here. Okay, sawmill. So that over there is a sawmill. So who really knows what this is? But it does kind of, from a certain angle with the drone, it does kind of look like an off-road racetrack. Who knows? That's across the road over, um, where would that be? That's over on this side. It's on the, uh, the northeast side of the road. All right, so let's go check. Let's check out this chapel and the graveyard because this is what we really, what I really wanted to come see. Because in all my, um, again, this this isn't really notable. I mean, you may see places like this in the game, but what I've not seen is what we have up here. And I've played this game since its release just over a year ago. And how have I never seen this graveyard? This is magnificent. There are, I believe, I want to say 48 graves here. 
48 or 50 something for sure. Now, I don't think any of them say anything on them, but there are a couple inscriptions. One for sure I know of. Let's see. So we have all these graves, some of which have flowers. I've checked out a couple of graveyards in this game, and i got to say, this is not like anyone that I've seen. So I guess this is where all the uh, dead unit dead soldiers go to rest after I drop them. Okay, so we'll check that inscription out in a second. Over here we have an open grave, which I guess they're still digging. I guess they know I'm still out here doing my work, so they're still digging graves, ready to bury more Unidad. That, that must be it. You know what? I should have drug one down here and put him in there. I mean, I did do those Unidad killing videos recently, but... Uh, I guess I'm not necessarily in that mindset. Maybe I should have thought of that. All right, so let's go check out this plaque here, and I'll read it the best I can. I do have a translation for it. If I can't translate it myself, um, the viewer is nice enough to send me a translation for it. Now up here first, we have this this part up here, which was not translated for me, so I'm just going to take a guess at it. It says La Unidad at the bottom and has their emblem. So what I'm guessing is the top part must be like their motto. And it says something to the effect of, and this is just my crappy literal translation, um, the union is the force. La union es la fuerza basically means the union is the force. So that must be like their motto. Now, then down here, this bit here was translated for me by a viewer, uh, Franco the Argentinian. So thank you so much for translating this for me. This down here can be a bit hard to read. So instead of trying to pronounce it, I'll just read his translation. It basically says, in memory of the brothers that fell in battle, heroes of the homeland. That's basically what that says down there at the bottom. Let's go up and check out this chapel up here. Let's see what's up here. I assume this would be a chapel. Yes, it is. All right, so... Everything here, all these buildings are uh, impromptu and, and fairly temporary, except this, these walls in this chapel. This chapel does actually appear to be old, so you got to wonder if they put the hospital here because of this. That's something interesting. I mean, this would have obviously already been here. Let's come in here and check it out. Weather outside is a bit drab. Pouring rain out here. We have more coffins ready to go. See, they're on top of things. They know I'm constantly killing them. They got more coffins ready to go. They should be out there digging more holes because I ain't done yet. Can't say uh, I've had such a good look at a coffin yet in this game as I have right here. Very nice. Wow, this is a pretty empty chapel. The chapels all... Yeah, you know what? That's true. All the chapels always have uh, tables, scattered magazines, uh, candles, skulls, other uh, Santa Muerte trappings. Maybe because that's a Santa Blanca thing and this is an Unidad chapel. Maybe they either cleared out or simply did not put up all the Santa Muerte stuff because I'm not seeing any of that stuff here. In fact, of all the chapels I've looked at, this is the only one I've seen that has no Santa Muerte presence whatsoever. Interesting. Very interesting. You know, I'm sure they did that on purpose. Let's check out the rest of this. All right, so this is a cool little place. Definitely come check this out if you get the time. It's really fun as a stroll through the graveyard and wonder uh, which one of those graves you put there. <laughs> no, but for real, it looks really cool. Let's get up here and get a bird's eye of it. Again, even though the weather is mm, less than ideal, I usually like to aim for sunny weather, but hey. This is a cool looking little place right here. And then they had that big memorial to all our fallen, what was it? Uh, to all the brothers that fell in battle, heroes of the motherland. This place is pretty cool. There's a lot here. I mean, there's definitely a few guys here. There is that radar jammer right down there. And there's an alarm over there on the far side. Oh, we got some rebels caged up here. I didn't think to uh, release. So besides that, there's not many really resources here. Well, you know what? We do have a... There's a whole dock down here. There's a whole, like, dock here. I wonder, um, is that the same river that... Let's have a look at it. So that'd be this river. Yeah, that's the same river that goes all the way up into probably Agua Verde. Yep. And all the way up through Caimanes, up into Via Verde, Espiritu Santo. Although, as rivers do tend to flow north to south. I should say this is the same river that comes from there, but <laughs> you could take this boat here and you could drive it pretty much anywhere on the eastern half of the map. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking along with me to this little tour through the little, uh, the La Unidad uh, Hospital. 
again, I'm going to call it the Unidad Mesh Unit because that's what it looks like when you're looking at this uh, this eastern half of it over here. Thanks so much for coming along, and if, hey, uh, feel free to check it out yourself. And if you find any, any other cool places that maybe I have not covered yet or heard about, let me know. Um, I will have a link to the entire playlist of this series down in the description below. There's several more episodes in this series. I've, I've hit pretty much what I think is most all of the interesting places, but if you find another one, please let me know. I'm always glad to check them out. All right, guys, I'm getting out of this weather. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.